check this out. We're at Central Sales, North Dakota. It's Jamestown, North Dakota. And we're installing a 150 foot flagpole. <laughs> it's North Dakota's current, gonna be tallest flagpole. And let's show you around. Here we have the foundation. And it's over dug to fit our top form, which will be set north, south, east, west on a diamond pattern. And the hole is 15 foot five deep. I can't click about as close as I can get. That's a ground sleeve. It's 15 foot long and it gets encapsulated in this hole and then it's going to stick up two foot above the ground where my feet are it's going to stick up on a diamond pattern north south east west and then surrounding that will be an 18 foot diameter cookie that has lights in it and the cookie's upset like the center foundation upset meaning 12 inches above the preceding height so from the driveway concrete I suppose they all have that's going to be the lights will cookie will be upset one foot and then the diagonal foundation will be upset one foot on a north south east west pattern so it gives a presence of beauty from top to bottom well we have here is 165 foot of pure pleasure <laughs> flagpole out of steel, carbon steel, and it's a half inch thick. And the bottom section weighs 6,000 pounds. I don't know if you look in there, there's not much to see, but I like taking pictures like that. Abstract. You can say, hello, hello, hello. I don't know why it just happened that way. Here's the door. So this section is going to be in the ground, 15 feet. Here's the door. It's going to be roughly four foot six off the top of concrete. There's a winch and it has a handle. We're investigating an electrical one. So here we have the joints. So these welds, these welds here are called, they're filler welds, they're plug welds because inside of this section here above this joint this section actually runs inside and there's a ring that's a little bit smaller circumference than the ID inside diameter of the 24 inch I guess it would be it is cylindrical so it's a cylinder and it's cylindrical for roughly 44 feet there's a two foot joint the bottom is plug weld and then the top these come tapered so this metal is running back this way this metal is running back this way and then they fill it and they welded look at the welds it's all done by hand by a master these guys here have welded in the unions for a long time and they go all across america and they do like high dollar like uh oh they've made all kinds of microchip machines work they come in and they hook the piping up and they make they're able to make kind of metal on site like make pipe on site in order to fit the conditions of the job so he has to take tests all the time he's been taking tests his whole life they got to know can you weld this kind of stuff sure are you there because once you're there and get it opened up, you gotta have a guy who will be dependable. So I gotta clean these welds up here and prime them. The paint is elphitic polyurethane. And I have an elphitic type urethane primer to touch up. What happened was the, the product came, here's the joints from, those are joints from the factory and here's another plug weld 
they feel it, woo, 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 woo. They just keep going. It's like they're on these for hours. Anyways, today I got to clean it up and then I got to sand it and paint it. Uh, we're getting near the end of 165 feet. Another plug weld in a smaller diameter. While we put it together, we ran a fish, fish line. Here you go. Little bobcat helped set it. Put all the pieces together on these stands with the tractor. And that's all I have for you now. I'll show you more pictures later when I get it sanded and then painted. We'll do a couple more shots.